Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a calendar with Canva. Canva is easy to use and also you can get started for completely free. All you'll need to do is go onto canva.com and sign up using your email address. Once you have done that, you are going to tap on the search bar and from here I want you to type in calendar. So you are going to type in calendar real quick. After you have typed in calendar, you can select calendar 2023 or you can select calendar at the bottom right here. After selecting calendar, you will be redirected to this page on which you will see numerous templates you can choose from. So whether you are creating a calendar for personal use or you are creating calendars to sell, or you're creating one for your company or, com or company use, you can use Canva. All you have to do is simply scroll down and you can see the different templates right here. And I'll be showing you how to customize these templates for your liking. So all you have to do is scroll down until you see a calendar that you like. So all you got to do is tap on one of these templates now. So let's say for example, I want to use this particular template. All I have to do is tap on the template. Then I'm going to tap on customize this template. And I'm going to be showing you now how to add your own personal touch to your calendar on Canva. Once it loads up, you will see 14 pages as you can see right here, depending on the template that you have chosen. And you can edit the text or so on. All you have to do is tap on the text box and then in the top left hand corner right where you see the seasons on my screen, you could change the font style if you want. So if you wanted to use a different style font, you could do that. If you want to change the size of the font, you can also do that as you can see right here. And there are numerous editing options. But the first thing I'll show you how to do is, for example, let's say you want to change this image. All you'll have to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you could tap on elements or you could select uploads and you could upload your own image. But let's say instead of this image, I want an image of the moon. So all I would have to do is type in the moon right there, then tap on enter. Once you have typed in the image that you would like to use, for example, I'm using an image of the moon. You'll tap on images, then from there you could scroll down and select the image that you would like to use, for example this one. So you can see how it looks right there. And also if you would like to change the background, you can do that. So all I would have to do is tap on the background at the moment, then I'm going to change the background color. So let's say I want to change the color to this shade of blue right here, as you can see right there. And also I'll go back into elements and from there I'm going to type in astronaut. So I'll type in astronaut real quick and tap on that as my calendar will be around the space theme. After I've done that I'm going to simply add this graphic right here. So I'll add the graphic right here and I'll simply minimize the size as you can see right there. And once you're finished, you'll simply scroll down and then you can start adding some more changes. So let's say, for example, you want to change this image. All I would have to do is go over to the left hand menu option again. Tap right where you see photos and I could tap on see all. Then from there, I could select this photo. All I have to do is tap and drag it as you can see right there. Then if you would like to edit the photo, all you have to do is double click on the photo. And you can shift it into position as you can see right there. And again, I can change the background color. All I have to do is tap on the current background, select the entire canvas. Then I'll tap on the background color in the top left hand corner. Then from there, I can change the background color as you can see right here. And I'll delete this image. And also, if you want to mark any holiday or so on on the calendar, you can do that. Or if you want to mark a birthday or so on, you can do that. So let's say, for example, the 31st of January is a special day for you. All you'll have to do is tap on the 31st of January.
then if you would like to put it in a different color you would have to tap on the capital a at the top of the page then from here you could put it in a different color let's say for example i want to put it in red so you can see right there it is in red and also if you wanted to add a text you could so all you'll have to do is tap on text over on the left hand menu option then after you have done that you could tap on the text box and place it right here and then you could type in what the 31st symbolizes to you so let's say for example you could type in 31st and you could write in dog's birthday dog's b day for example sake and then after you're finished you can change the size if you want then you'll simply scroll down and you can apply the changes to each page so you can edit each page and once you're finished editing each page i won't bore you with going through editing each pages i'll just simply show you how to edit the first page as you can see right here and if you'd like to add more pages all you have to do is tap on add page at the bottom right here then you could add more pages if you want once you are finished editing and it is to your liking, all you'll have to do now is simply scroll back up. Then you are going to tap on share in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on share, you are going to tap on download. Then once you have selected download, you can see PDF. You want to ensure that PDF is selected. Then you will tap on download and that's it. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.